Lagos Photo is a truly international exhibition. More than 50 photographers are showing their work here, and they've come from countries right across Africa and way beyond the continent. Azu Abogu, you're the director of the exhibition. It's called The Mega City and the Non-City, and this photo of Lagos seems to sum that up. Indeed, indeed. Uh, this photo by Hans Wolschert, a uh, Dutch photographer who's been working in the city for the last few years now. And uh, in this photo, we have a close juxtaposition of the mega city um, right next to the non city. We have urban squalor in close proximity to um, multi million dollar structures that represent the financial district in Lagos. Of course, plenty of the photos show Lagos life and weddings are a big theme. Here's some extraordinary work by Obi Nwakedi, who's used Barbie dolls to reenact a Yoruba wedding. Another highlight is the work of Charles Placide Tossou from Benin. He's taken classic paintings by artists from the West and has then recreated the scenes with his camera. For the 1930 painting American Gothic, Charles travelled to the north of Benin. He says this work teaches us about development or the lack of it. Yes, the photo shows modern life, but we're still in the same situation where many things have not advanced. So many years have passed between the date when the painting was done and when I took this photo, but many things haven't changed. So, for example, we're still using the same tools for farming. Some of the photos have been mounted on these huge bamboo frames. So even people who don't make it to the gallery can bump into the exhibition, which will be on display in public spaces around Lagos. The world-renowned British photographer Martin Parr is a special guest at Lagos Photo. He hopes the event will help inspire people to get more out of photography. Even though the, everyone takes millions of photos every year, people often don't think more than just having, showing your friends and people smiling in front of like the latest night out. So it's very good to have this uh, opportunity to think more about what photography can offer and what it can bring people. And what about this, the work of Cyrus Kabiru, a Kenyan artist who's taken self-portraits and he's wearing extraordinary glasses made from recycled objects. Everyone needs a pair. Will Ross, BBC News, Lagos.